peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, when you hear someone say, don't be so heavenly, be warned, they're speaking a lot. This phrase is not biblical, and it's common to hear the world in the body of Christ. Why? Proverbs 14, verse 12, it says, There is a way which seems right to a man is the ways of death. We must understand that we should should be transformed by the renewing. Let's look at the lie again so we can change about it. The lie goes like this. Only minded that you are no earthly good. The Bible be mindful not on things on the earth. about the things above, not the things here on earth, comprehend, because it requires the sp- first Corinthians 2, 14, says, These also speak not in words which man's wisdom, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. Comparing spiritual man does not receive the thing spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Neither can how you can understand what the lie. Don't be so heavenly minded, no earthly good, seems right to them. They are not. First Corinthians one where is the wise, where is the scribe? Where is the lawyer of this world? Has not God made foolish this world? He says in Psalms two verse four, He who sets the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall mock at them, because they they think in their earthly wisdom they oh how foolish the wisdom world is first Corinthians three verses nineteen and 20. for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God he takes the wise in their own craft thoughts of the wise. God tells us earthly Therefore, we need to be heavenly minded. Mindedness. Matthew 6, verses 31 through 33 says, Therefore, anxious, saying, What shall we eat or be clothed? Nations seek after all. All these things, for your heavenly all these things, but seek first God in His righteousness, and all these things shall be added. These verses are Jesus speaking to us and telling us, then we will have earthly provision. He tells us to not be anxious over earthly things will take care of you. That's some precious truth because they are not spiritually minded. Please don't think the people of this world are the only ones not spiritually minded. There are many in the body of Christ in the world. Here's an example that Jesus faced. Mark 6, verses 34 through 44, 
In going out, Jesus saw a large crowd, and he was moved with compassion towards them, because they were a shepherd. And he began to teach them things. And it now becoming a late hour, his, this is a deserted place, and it hour, send them away so that they may go to villages and buy loaves for themselves. They have nothing to eat. He answered and said to them, and they said to him, Shall we give them a of loaves and give them to eat? Let's stop right there for a minute. Notice the disciples of Jesus were earthly minded. They were trying to figure out how to feed the people with earthly means. This is how the church today thinks. The more money they could feed people, they could do more earthly good. What Jesus did. How How many loaves do you have? Go and when they knew they said five and two fish. And he commanded them all to recline group by group, and they reclined group by group by five loaves and the two fish heaven. He blessed and broke the loaves and gave them before them. And he divided the two fish to all. And they took up twelve full of fragments also from the fish. Five thousand men was heavenly minded and he was able to He's our example of how even his disciples were confused and confronted with earthly problems. The solution to earthly answers, the things possible with men are possible with God. Let's look at another example of heavenly mindedness. 42 it says and it happened that he entered into a village and a certain woman named Martha received him and had a sister called Mary who also at Jesus' feet and heard his word and she came to him and said do you do not care that my sister has left me to serve alone. Therefore, tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, been troubled about many things, but when that good part be taken away from her. Jesus told Martha that she had many things. Earthly minded, thinking that she was doing good. Her that Mary chose the good part, which was that good part is listening to his words. It's so important that the bride of understands that the word of God is far more important than with 4 verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, port. If there be any virtue, 
any praise. Think on these things. The bride of Christ must stop allowing lies to keep her bound up. Wake up and be more heavenly minded so she can listen to the word of God's truth and allow it to wash her. Just like Mary the feet of Jesus listening to his every word so she focused on the word of God so much more good that can be done on earth as it is the Lord Jesus Christ be with you